on screen. Is that how it's going to be? Yeah, it's just going to be one at a time. All right. And you can just look right at the TV. All right. Without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Sherm uh, to take some questions. Richard, what's your focus as you get ready for training camp? Have, has that, has the, the nature of the off season changed up uh, and impacted how you prepare for the season? You know, every year is a new year. Um, and, and every year you gotta, you gotta reprove yourself. You gotta reestablish yourself and you gotta put it back on tape. And that's, that's the plan. You know, I gotta, I gotta go out there. I gotta work hard. I gotta be able to, 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 to play well for my teammates and, and try to elevate my team and, and help us win ball games. I mean, that's, that's the concern every year. Um, the off season has been different, but you know, we're pros and we get our work in and we're, we've been able to prepare and, and stay on top of our game. Obviously, it's an adjustment, and, and winning teams find a way to adjust the best in these situations. So um, I think the team that would adapt the best will be the one holding the trophy at the end. I will be back here, and I will be back with another vengeance. You know, this is a big-time draft by the San Francisco 49ers. Trent Williams will play in San Francisco this year. Football doesn't matter if you don't handle COVID right. Whoever adapts better is ultimately going to win that trophy. Exactly 203 days have passed since the 2019 season ended in heartbreak for the 49ers in Super Bowl 54 at Hard Rock Stadium. A mere six minutes away from the ultimate goal, the bitter sting of defeat fuels a team eager to complete some unfinished business. The reigning NFC champions embark on a new chapter as they return at long last to the SAP Performance Facility to prepare for the 2020 season. Back, baby. There we go. Training camp, baby. Time to clock in. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Yep. Oh, hey there, everyone. You know, number seven on the top 100. Number one in your heart, baby. George Kittle. Come on. As the team arrives for training camp, they are greeted by new protocols put into place to help stop the spread of COVID-19. I don't know if you ever prepare for something like this, honestly, as the pandemic started to, to break out around the world and became much more of a fear and a concern for everyone's safety. I think you started to think immediately then, okay, how is this potentially gonna impact our upcoming football season? Once we kind of made that realization, we immediately mobilized all of our resources here and, and our team uh, to make sure that we could make adjustments to make sure everything was ready and in place to handle that. What's up everyone? Go see what we do in the morning. Get ready for the day. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Hey, Jimmy, how are you? Ready for the daily test? Have a seat right there. Do it. How you doing? I'm good. Kathy's the best. That's why we come here every day. <laughs> Gotta find the good ones. <laughs> all right. We're all done. Always wake you up a little bit. That is, I know. <laughs> Have you been in close contact with a confirmed case of COVID-19? Nope. Are you experiencing a cough, shortness of breath, or sore throat? Nope. Alrighty, I'm gonna take your temp. Thank you. Okay. And you should be good, yeah? Go around here. Morning. Morning. How are we doing? Doing good. Remember it is today. Sweet. Oh, there we go. Thank you. All right, have a good morning. Stay six feet away, everyone. We're able to move everyone outside, open space, make sure each player has their own individual tent that they can work out in. Um, and also make sure that we're able to clean those stations in between. All right, everyone, I want to introduce you to my new friend, the electrostatic sanitizer. I mean, it's a unique situation, obviously, with having to stay six feet apart, staying within your box, but we're still getting great workouts in. You know, I've been here for the first few days of workouts, and they've been, they've been awesome. You come out here, you see all these tents set up. We each have our own individual workstation, so we're not all bunched together all in one group when we're out here. Everybody's separated, six feet apart, social distancing. We come in, we get our workout in, and we're done. All this stuff that they've been doing to make sure that they don't leave any stone unturned uh, in terms of keeping guys separated, cleaning off the, uh, the equipment, it makes us feel safe when we're out here doing what we have to do to make sure that we're ready to go for game day.
we're blessed here to have a phenomenal staff, uh, not just in the performance department, but everyone in ops, uh, logistics, the, the meal room staff, um, players, coaches, everyone. It was not hard, right? Everyone came in with the mentality of, hey, you guys, we know this is going to be different, um, but different doesn't have to be scary. Different just means we got to figure out a way to do what we've always done and uh, be successful just within that new environment. Hello. Hi. How we doing? Can I please do some of the, yeah, Brussels sprouts, please? Yeah, as you can see, everything's spaced out now to make sure that people are keeping that social distancing. They have the glass in between the workers and the players and staff, making sure everybody's safe. You know, I think that's what it's all about, is safety. All right, thank, thank you, you so much. Have a good day. You too. The thing that most excites me is the feedback I've gotten from the players, that when I ask them how do they like the new normal, is they tell me it feels very much like the old normal. So we're not having to make other adjustments. We're able to just come in and our players and staff can focus on football. And that's really the most important part. The rest of the group here is doing everything we can to support that. And we have the players and we have the coaching staff then that can execute at a high level. All right, guys, welcome back. All right, this is our new team meeting room. This meeting right here is a little bit different. Like, usually like the first day back at training camp, you know, we've had all off season together. We've had OTAs together. Uh, we just had our 40 days off. And now we're all here and we're ready to go. We have so much unfinished business from last year. So the first thing I want to go over is with you guys' schedule. I want to lay out kind of just our mindset here all the way up to September 13th. All right. Then I want to talk about where we're all at right now. I talk about the anxiety of all of us here and the responsibility we have towards each other. All right. Number one, we have a responsibility above everything to keep each other healthy. All right, it starts with every person that you look at on a day-to-day -day basis. It also starts with the people that they leave here and they go live with, all right, and what they come back with. We have such a moral responsibility that goes way beyond football than anything. But the only way we can always truly be confident is that we're confident in what we see and when we're confident in what we see in each other, all right? Then we're all good. And keep grinding, whatever happens, we'll adapt. All right, we'll adapt. And that's who will win this year, where we're gonna adapt the most. After head coach Kyle Shanahan addresses the team on the intricacies of training camp in 2020, the players hit the field to prepare for an unprecedented season. Weightlifting, strength training, and unpadded practices are the first items on the docket as the team will slowly transition into the heart of training camp. Linebacker Quan Alexander is coming off an impressive first season in a 49ers uniform. Although cut short by injury, he returned in the playoffs to contribute as a vital piece of the front seven. He begins his second season with the team by bringing his legendary passion and energy to the practice field. We're going to start with some tackling, man. Our emphasis this year going to be tackling, all right? Where y'all at today? Where y'all at today? Yeah, oh. You got to set the tone, man. I don't know what's wrong with everybody else today. I love my dog going to be ready. Give me some. Give me some. Let's go! Let's go to work. Get better every day, baby. Every day we rocking up. Yo, baby, set the tone early, baby. Set the tall earth. We're working all summer for this, baby. There you go, right there. Nice, big boy. Nice. Are they close? They close! Which baby is this? The little one or the duck? Duck. Okay. You gotta check on them. I don't know the difference. I'm starting to learn it because the little baby got the higher little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah Drake! Yeah, Drake! Every day. Over here, every day. 
And then, <laughs> like you can tell the safety and get out there, I'll guard this dude. That's what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. if it's a receiver, just leave him there and you go. Right, that's what, yeah, you know? that's what I'm saying. Give me a ball, man. Let's work. Hey, Easy money. Let's go, let's go. Hey, first and 10. Set the tone. Now first and 10, first and 10. I'm gonna pick that. Yeah! Yeah! We own that. We own that. Let's rock out, baby. Now one, let's go. I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him, I got him. Come on, come on, come on. I'm on that, I'm on that time. I'm on that time. I'm on that, I'm on that. I'm on that. Yeah. I'm on that. All right, gotta be ready to process a lot quicker and go. And just to emphasize, when we in there, make sure we attacking that ball. All right, make sure we attacking that ball, get that ball out. So, you good to go? Legendary. Black boys on three, one, two, three. Black, Black boys. boys. Big dogs. Yeah. Hoof, hoof. Sack. Sack. We need about three. I just don't care about us, huh? Three. We gotta get takeaways over here. Well, it's a wrap, ain't it? All right, favorite, that was day one, man. We done went out here and did our thing, turned up. Got better today, we stacking days. Let's stay legendary. On to the next. What's favorite? Nice. Awesome. How'd it feel to be back out there? Legendary, legendary, legendary. While Quan is wrapping up a legendary practice, the team is looking to re-sign one of the most important pieces of the 49ers organization the people's tight end, George Kittle. All right, Georgie. Okay, let's get the York chair. Sign date, and then just initial. On behalf of the York family and Kyle and everybody with this organization, it's right here that uh, Kyle and I called you in the fifth round, and uh, certainly one of the best decisions we've ever made, <laughs> and uh, we are we are more than proud. Uh, you, you have earned this, right? So. Uh, it's awesome to have you part of the Niners for, for years to come. You embody everything we want to be as a team, and man, I, it, nothing makes me happier. So congratulations to you, and uh, I know we're supposed to social distance, but we're, we're tested every day. Yeah, love you. Woo! <laughs> Let's go! Boom! Uh, wow! Joe, where are you going, man? Hey, we're going to celebrate this thing, Niner Nation. We are here, the faithful. Going to be a Niner for a long time. Super excited about it. Ready to play some football, baby. Woo! <laughs> so I'm the Rams. I get up and press them, and I don't give it to them. I make them earn it. I don't, I don't want anything, I don't want any records ever given to me. He's in the slot right there, and they're looking for him. And he's going to break the all-time record. Kittle inside the 30, the 20. What an unbelievable year for George Kittle. Has just shattered the single-season record for receiving yards by a tight end. How about that? Nothing signifies the return of real football quite as much as the first padded practice of camp. See what's going on, big dog, big dog only, man. Nothing there. Yes, sir. Know what time it is, man. First aid pads. Let's get a little filthy today. Mike McGlinchey and Fred Warner were in high spirits as they headed out to the field in full pads in near 100 degree heat. Testing, testing one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Day four. Four. Five, four. That's me. Who got me on the camera today? Who watching me? Oh, is that, is that you right there? Oh, yep, I see you. Hey, just so y'all know, I got the little, I got that little thing on me today, all right? Got that little thing. Hey. Go ahead, talk hey. to him. Hey. Go ahead, talk hey. to him. Hey. What's that go to him? Hey. All right, let's go, Ken. So have a great day now. If you haven't worn pads in forever, I feel so much less athletic when I first put them back on. Like I feel like I'm moving like an ogre right now. Who know how to hit this dance? The Renegade. Did you be on TikTok? Oh yeah, you see me on the TikTok. Hey, just cause I got, just cause I got rhythm, y'all ain't got no rhythm. Ah! Ah! Here we go. Next! Let's go! It's day four, Mike. Let's go. Talk to me, Kittle. Niners! Here we go, Stan. Nice. Oh, I know you missed. 
I know you missed uh, videotaping me on the on the mic up. How do you like the horse races? I like them. Makes me feel like a prize fighter. How you feeling? Uh, yeah. Uh, no joke. Uh, All right, let's go. Set the tone now. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, stay with him. Yeah, get around. Me? Oh, yeah. Oh, almost, 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 almost. Run, 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 run. Nah, that ain't a route. Yep. All day. Stay with it. Stay with him. Run, 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 run. In. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay with him. Run, run, run. We good? We good? Let's go, go. pop, baby. Good pop, Quan. After months of virtual meetings, Coach Shanahan and the rest of the coaching staff are thrilled to be able to meet and train with the players in person. While this offseason has brought its unique set of challenges, the return of training camp brings with it renewed excitement for the return of football for faithful everywhere. With vital offseason acquisitions through draft, free agency, and trade, the re-signing of key players, and an unmatched passion and hunger the San Francisco 49ers wrap up their first week of camp as they race towards a promising season. See, I was listening to uh, Celine Dion on the way in this morning. You know her? You know her music? Yes, I know who she is. Have you ever seen her show in Vegas? I haven't either. I've heard the rest. Well, it's, not, it's all coming back to me now. It's a great tune. It's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. Thank you, 